Guys, if you guys are having bad ping, bad delay, bad FPS, I have everything in this video that you will need. I'll, I'll try my best to get it time stamped at the bottom so you can click on each thing that I go over in this video. But we're going to go ahead and start with basics. A few things that some of you may know, some of you may not know. If you're new, you probably don't know about this because you're watching this video. So we're going to go ahead and start with in-game settings. So these settings are basically what I have you should copy like exactly okay and this goes for console this goes for pc copy these settings i know console doesn't have as many as pc does but the settings i have right here don't have your fps on unlimited by the way i just had that because i was testing my fps have it on 240 whatever your monitor is if you're on a 144 i recommend putting it at 165 if you're on 165 put it at 200 240 240 of course and you know put it one above what it your monitor is um other than that the graphics modes i have everything on low 3D res, okay, this is one that's optional. Between 90 and 100 is good. It doesn't change how your game looks much, and your game still runs perfectly fine. Like, it'll run just good. Like, you really can't see the difference at all. And I just put it from 90, right? Now, when I put it back on 100, you're not going to see a change at all. Like, I promise you. Like, maybe the slightest bit of a change. But it does help a little bit with FPS. So it is something I recommend going ahead and trying. Um... Some other things we're going to go ahead and hop into is apps. So this is pretty much it for the in-game settings. The rest of the stuff you need to download. So for console players, um, here soon, I don't have much for delay. Console is kind of capped on how the delay is. There's not much you can really do for console delay, which is unfortunate, and I'm sorry. But here very soon, I'll have something for you guys that is going to be insanely beneficial for you guys uh, ping-wise. And I'll have another video coming out shortly about that. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into... Um, some third-party apps that I use while playing Fortnite that gives me zero delay. And if any of you guys watch my streams, you guys know I really do have zero delay. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to... Let me drag this up just a tad so you guys can see the bottom of my screen. We're going to go and we're going to start with this one. So this one is timer resolution. When you first open it, this is what you see. It looks exactly how this is. I can't full screen if I can. I know it's a little small, but this is what you'll see. You'll see current resolution point i just said 1.0 hit maximum you want it to say 0 0.5 if yours can does not say 0 0.5 that is okay keep trying to see it hit 0 0.5 you can try running it as admin which all you do is right click or, or search it right here right click it hit run as administrator um you can try doing that but once you have it at 0 0.5 or whatever you can get to some are 0.9 some are 4.6 whatever you can get to you minimize it you do not close this i want to make that clear you do not close it once it does not work you keep it minimized okay Bam, minimized. Right, what this does, it it optimizes your monitor pretty much. It doesn't do anything for the computer, it does it for your monitor. And with your monitor being optimized, it helps your PC with delay and everything keeping up. Um, and it uh, works very well. I know you can't see much of a difference, but the difference with time resolution being on and it not being on is insane. Like, there's an actual huge difference. I know, like, if you're ever fighting somebody and you feel like they've taken every wall from you, you swore you placed that wall before they did, but it's still theirs. It's more than likely they have less delay than you. Um, even if your ping is zero and so is theirs, you know, and they still are placing and taking everything from you, it's more than likely it's a delay thing. So having this will help you a lot with keeping up with people that have zero delay, especially when they're on insanely good PCs. If you're on more of a lower end PC, this will help you a lot. Um, moving on to the next one, we have filter keys. I've been over this one quite a bit um, to many people. This one's a little bit more confusing than timer res. It's not just a download and a click. This one, you have to put some settings in. So the settings I have right here is exactly what you should copy. What I have right here is the perfect settings for filter keys. Um, then you hit apply and you hit okay. Make sure you hit save registry. You hit apply and then okay. Once you have the settings typed in, you can pause it, copy them, whatever you'd like to do. What these settings do, um, what filter keys does is it's like a macro and it's a bad word to say because macros are bannable but filter keys is not okay and i use it all the time while i'm playing right and if you ever like stop by on like a stream or something not saying you have to but if you ever do you'll you can ask me like yo can i see if you have filter keys open just to see if i'm lying which i'm obviously not um uh, i'll open it show you right there boom filter keys is on it's running all the time i always open it hit a save registry apply okay and what filter keys does is as you're typing something um Let's put it, if you look at the, if you look right above my webcam, you can see as you're typing, right, eventually you'll see it spam, like a bunch of numbers or the same letter will just jump, right? It's, it's not really doing as much right now, but it does really work while you're playing the game. 
um, you'll see it like it's like kind of hard to explain, but it does this pretty much, right? So this is me holding it, but as you're typing, it'll do that as well. So I, I recommend you go giving it a shot. You might not see the biggest difference at first, but it's really good when you're double editing because it helps. It obviously helps with double edits, right? Because it's clicking your edit key, which mine is E. So as I'm clicking E, it'll click it fast for me, right? Like faster than what I can click it myself, you know? So it really helps with double edits, helps with triple edits. Pretty much anything you want to do for editing, uh, you know, it helps you with like all the way. Like it's very good. I recommend giving it a shot. Moving on to the last app um, that I do use. It is called Gear Up Booster. Now, let me explain to you how this works. I know a few of you guys are probably a little annoyed that I've talked about Gear Up Booster quite a bit. But as you can see, the improvement that is done with my ping, it says 323% improvement, which is... I don't know how accurate the improvement it really is, but it says what my ping will be. And I don't know if you can see this. I know it's a little small, but if you look at the very top left, kind of high above my webcam, it says zero. Sometimes I'll jump to one, but that's normal, you know. Um, holding hard zero is kind of difficult unless you're, you know, legit booga and have, you know, god speed internet. But so what this does is it helps your internet a lot. I have a lot of people that have come to me saying, yo, thank you. This is very, it helps them a lot. So I recommend giving this a shot. And all you, you can boost anything. It goes from Fortnite to any game that you play. Fortnite, Apex, literally anything you guys want. You can even boost apps, guys. Discord, as you can see, anything you want. Um, there's mobile versions, all kinds of stuff. So, um, and I will be having a console version coming out soon. And I'll be doing a giveaway for that. But you'll see that video eventually. Anyways. Basically, you boost Fortnite, you go to detail, and you can you can mess with the settings. You can mess with it how you want. Launch the platform. As the game's already launched for me. Servers. You pick where you want. I pick North America. Stuff like that, right? Um, check, you can pick a node. You can pick, you know, the best one for you. Um, lost zero. It says, you know, whatever. Um, you just pick that, okay? And then once you're done, you can close it. It'll be in the little tray down here. So I'll show you. There's a few things. So you have this. Exit like opens by itself. I don't use it, but it does open by itself. There's a few things, and this is moving on to my next topic that I wanted to explain to you guys. So, a lot of you guys don't realize how much you have running in the background. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, open up this tray, and you'll see what's running. When you launch Fortnite, Epic Games is always running. You can exit out of Epic Games, and your game will still run just fine. There will be no crashes, it won't sign you out, nothing. Like, a lot of this, you can just go ahead and close. Um, I have it set to where it doesn't open. I don't. There's still some things that do that you can just go ahead and close out of, but... You know, just go ahead, check to see, you know, what you should close, what you need open. And just make sure you don't have extra apps running in the background, which are going to cause you to have extra input delay or lower FPS. Because if you realize you have, like, videos playing in the background or something like that, that's not good. Especially when you're trying to play or qualify for, you know, FPS grants. But anyways, moving on to some actual computer settings that you should work on and change. Um... We're going to move into that. So the first setting that I recommend you guys changing in your computer is you go to settings. You go to here. Let me move my webcam over here to the right side so you can see what I'm doing. You go to settings, right? You click here. Go to graphic settings, okay? In your PC. Um, you go ahead and hit click change default graphic settings. For you guys, this will most likely be checked on like this, okay? What you guys need to do is turn it off. I know it says reduces latency, improve performance. It does more harm than good, okay? So having this off is a lot better. Um, then you will have to research a PC. Once you research a PC, go ahead, load up. As you can see, I've had it off, right? And your game will run better. It helps with a little bit with delay, not as much as FPS, okay? Um, so yeah, once you got that off, that's good. Now, so that's like the one setting that you need to turn off for your PC that really does affect how your game runs. There's a few others that you can turn off. I'm sure you've seen other videos. I'm pretty positive I'm not the only video you've clicked on. There's a few others that you can click on and you can, you know, turn some things off go ahead i mean a lot of the things that, that people show don't really work as well i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you guys they don't work as good but what since we have all of this covered we got apps that you can use um good ping websites you know everything like that that you can use i'm gonna go ahead and show you sorry for the yellow screen real quick um i'm gonna go ahead and show you sorry this does not fit all the way i apologize about that but it's uh you're gonna have to just deal with the yellow bar on the right side but all right so there's one more thing um you can change so you go to epic games launcher and you let this load up, and the reason you want to turn this off, I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you. Okay, once it's open, you go to library, go to Fortnite, you click these three dots, you go to options, it'll bring this up. Okay, the reason you want to turn these off is, well, obviously, hi, yours is probably going to look like this, okay? You're probably going to have all of this checked off, this one unchecked, okay? And this is what you want to do. So, 
you want to get rid of save the world and as you play save the world i recommend getting rid of it there's no need for it get rid of high resolution textures that is a big one you do not want that on that's just causing more textures to be in the game at high resolution as it says which causes way less fps so having this off is very good for your computer and how your game will run and disable cosmetic streaming you want this off so basically what this does is if there's like a skin or a pickaxe or anything like that in the game that has an effect like star one for example um that that effect is always going on always running and if you just turn this off basically it's not running all the time so these are the settings that you want go ahead and give these a shot these work perfectly this is exactly what i use right here you see when i opened it that's what it was on um anyways that's what you should use for epic games launcher now we're going to move on to some more in the pc settings we like not actual setting settings but the actual graphics card settings that you should change to have insanely good delay like the delay after changing this you're gonna feel is gonna be insanely different okay so okay so this is what you want to do so manage 3d settings is where we'll start okay and we'll actually adjust image settings is where we'll start we'll just put it that way so you want to click this bottom one okay and this blue, this bar right here, you want to drag this down to performance and then click use advanced 3D settings, okay? Then you hit apply, right? Mine's already like this, so, uh, you know, hitting apply is really not going to change anything, but you hit apply. Okay, so this is what you want to see. You want to see it just like this, okay? Moving on to manage 3D settings. Now, copy these settings how I have them. These are the settings that you want to give you less delay it gives you less delay better fps all kinds of stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and go through this as sh like kind of quick but also short um you know you go ahead pause this when you need to um you know copy these settings how you need um and then let me know if these settings worked for you because once you have all these copied you sh your pc should be running much better no matter what the pc and on top of that you should feel an insane difference and you should start improving at the game because i know a lot of people that are looking for these videos are at their little soft cap where they're just not improving no matter what they do and they you know everybody's taking their walls they think it's the pc difference you know it's like pay to win you know these settings should really help you keep up with people like that and that is it for these settings um and that is actually it for the video and if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you leave a like share it to your friends if it helped you subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one